Good day and welcome to an RC Tanks Australia instructional video on how to change the sounds on your TRF-10 module. You'll need to set your module up as we have done here. You'll need to provide power to your module and you'll also of course need to connect up the uh, USB interface via the scale bus cable. When you're ready to change the sounds, the first thing you need to do is set your module into download mode. To do that, get a toothpick here and in this little hole here you'll find a little push button. Push that button down and then apply power to the module. The red LED will come on and the first step there will be to erase the sounds that are currently on the module. We're now ready to go over to the computer and um, start our function model configurator software. Okay, we've loaded up Function Model Configurator. The first step to do is to load the file that you wish to transfer. I'm going to load up the Tiger settings. There we have them loaded up. Best to check the settings to make sure that everything is communicating. For some reason, COM39 works for me. Your setting may be different, but uh, COM39 works for me. Click the download. If you've got an OK here, things should be pretty good. Click OK here to start the transfer. Now that the data has started to be transferred, we have a look at the USB interface. You'll see that there is a red light flashing on the USB interface. That will continue flashing until the download is complete. It takes a few minutes for the download to complete, so now would be a good time to go and make a cup of coffee. Okay, you can see now the transfer has completed. So we can close that all down. When the transfer is completed, you'll note that the lights are now completely off on the USB interface and we just have a flashing red light on your module. It's fine now to turn the module off. And there. It should now have the new sounds loaded onto the module. 